Okay, so in problems 21 through 27, what we want to do in these problems is to find y prime and evaluate y prime at the particular point that's given to us. So the main thing to remember with these is you do your first set of uh, differentiation, first step of differentiation, and then start plugging in. There's no need to make it simple, to make it uh, organized or whatever. We're just trying to solve for y prime. Uh, do the dif differentiation, plug in the values, and solve for y prime. All right, so the derivative with respect to x of xy is equal to the derivative with respect to 4. Now, as I've said many times, this xy is going to come up again and again. Maybe you can already remember that it's going to be 1d2, which is xy prime, plus 2yd1, which is just 1, so it's xy prime plus y and that equals zero. We're trying to solve for y prime and all we need to do here is plug in x equals negative four, y equals negative one and so we get negative four y prime minus one equals zero. Isolate the negative four y prime is equal to one divide by negative four and we end up with y prime is equal to negative one-fourth. Done. That's how easy it is. All right, we'll go on to problem number 23. Okay, so you say, well, maybe we spoke too fast. Here's a, uh, a bit messier problem. We, ha we definitely have a quotient rule on the right side. But remember, in these problems, we're just going to do the very first step, plug in, and run. All right, so we want the derivative of both sides with respect to x. All right, on the left side, Remember, we're taking the derivative with respect to x. We have y's there, so this we're going to have to multiply by y prime when we're done. 2y, y prime on the left. On the right side, we do have a quotient rule, but no big deal. We can handle that. Um, low, which is x squared plus 4. d high, the derivative of the numerator is just 2x. Minus high, x squared minus 4. d low, the derivative of the denominator is also 2x over low squared. Okay, calculus is done. We're ready to start plugging in at this point. So y, remember, is 0. So 2 times y is 0. Times y prime is 0. And uh, if you're like me, I'm looking for other y primes, and there are no more y primes in there. So we're going to end up with garbage here. And what that tells us is either we have uh, infinite solutions or no solutions. In this case, I'm going to imagine that we have no solutions. So let's start plugging in on the right. x is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And then 2 times 2 is 4, so we have 8 times 4, which is 32. Next, we have... Uh, 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4 is 0, and 0 times anything is 0. So we have 32 in the numerator. In the denominator, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 squared is 64. And that's 1 half, and this tells us that 0 is equal to 1 half, which is never true. Now what does this tell us? This tells us that on that graph, uh, y squared equals x squared minus 4 over x squared plus 4, at the point 2 comma 0, first of all you can plug in and see that there is actually such a point there. 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, 0 over 2 squared, 0 over 8 is still 0 equals 0. So there is such a point 2 comma 0 on that curve and what this says is at that curve there is no tangent line. There is no derivative there and let's go and take a look at why. So we're going to call up our handy dandy trusty dusty friend Wolfram Alpha to the rescue and we have y squared is equal to x squared minus 4 now you want to put that in parentheses so that that becomes the whole numerator over x squared plus 4 we give it a ride and we come up with this graph notice at the point 2 comma 0 which is right here notice what we have there we have a vertical tangent line and that's exactly what we would expect in this case so there is no derivative at the point two comma zero excellent we'll go on to the next problems in the next video